Hi Libra, I'm Charlotte from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back and if you're new, welcome as well. Please uh, subscribe and hit the bell and then it will be saved in your library and then you can find the channel back much easier. And if you would like to be um, notified when I go live, every day I go live and give away free cards, then please hit the bell. You can find all the information underneath this video if you would like to have an extended reading. But when I'm in the live, there is also Super Chat and Super Stickers. There's two different things. You can make a donation, that's called a Super Chat. And then you've also got Super Stickers. And those are little Emmy Joes um, that dance. They start from about 99 cents and upwards. And if you would like to go to the website, then just go around here. There's a little white uh, circle here, and that will, if you click on that, it will take you straight to the website. This week there will be updates and changes. And if you would like to get into contact, then just go to the heading contact and click on that, and then scroll right down the page after uh, you've seen all the information and uh, then you can leave a reaction behind. I have to change that to the front page as well. <clears throat> uh, I'm still learning and I'm still updating uh, the website, so bear with me. I'm using the Oracle of Fission this week, and this is your reading, Libra, for the 2nd to the 8th, and the fantasy of uh, the Cat's Oracle. So now we're going to start with the Oracle of Visions and I go into this card into in depth and you've got a beautiful card, theatre. Yes, life is also a theatre. And we'll go into that. He's looking at what is playing uh, and uh, how to act. He's got the strings, he's in control. Or is he actually in control? Somebody might be pulling your strings. That's also what it could mean. Now I've got the four attitude cards and I haven't got the time of year because I'm not uh, doing a yearly reading. And this is that way up. She's like she's in the dancing in the cosmos. Okay, they're very very <clears throat> glossy and slippery, but that's fine for shaking the cards. Okay, Libra. I wonder what you will get. Exciting. Monday. I'll do it that way. I had a feeling we had the Siamese. I don't know why. And I will put a... Um, a tarot card on it as well. Gives you perhaps a little bit more information and clarity. Okay. That one is sticking out and that one is sticking out. So let's start off. And I will go in. I've got some more things exciting waiting for you because I'm doing something new. And you've got card 54, and 54 becomes a 9. So there is an ending uh, and a new beginning. Okay, let's have a look. Sorry, um, I don't mean 54, 45, it's just that I'm looking upside down. And you can see... This card, like somebody is pulling the strings, like I said, manipulation, control, role-playing, wishful thinking. Yes, role-playing or theatre. Some people think life is a lot of fun and it's a stage. So you can see a lot of things in this picture. Okay, let's have a look. I don't know whether you can see it. There's a horse and a clown at the bottom. It just doesn't seem really real. There's something about it that doesn't seem real. Of course, life is a stage and we uh, nobody has a program of, this, um, of the play that's going on. It changes drastically. 
every single minute. Time does not stand still. In, and um, I think it was Leo or uh, Virgo that had the, 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 the hour glass. Time is only given once. It's just past. Every second that ticks away will never come back. What good is sitting alone in your room? Come, hear the music play. Life is a cabaret. Old chum, good to the, come to the cabaret. Yes, join life. Don't just isolate yourself. Life is also for rest, work and play. Life is a cabaret, a theatre, a performance. We are acting out our roles as villains and heroes. Like marionettes, we are both manipulated and manipulating, writing and following the script. Yes, we write our own script. Perhaps today is a new day for a new chapter, especially on Monday. We share the stage with others for some acts and perform solo in others. In this parody, we can create artificial scenarios or plan planned outcomes. We can transform into something or someone that we are not. There may be a creative benefit in that we are encouraged to fulfill our dreams and wishes. Danger is in losing oneself in the role and losing touch with reality beyond the stage doors. Beautiful. So, what do you make out of that? Do you play enough? Are you manipulating too much? Are you being manipulated? Okay, now we're going on to the cat cards. And your attitude for Monday, you start off the week with desiring balance. Yes, Libra, you always would like to balance. You're always trying to cope with that. So perhaps you will find your balance on Monday. And your cat card is really, that is you. Just like, this is my cat. I've got a Siamese. She's called Matis. And she knows what she wants. She's a right old lady. Nine. I think it is nine. No, it's six. Ruling. Being the boss. Being manipulating, perhaps. And I will go into this card. Express your will. Definitely. When you're the boss, you would like to express your will. And you're also balanced because it's six. Put plans into action, uh, Libra, so that you are in balance. Call the shots, stand up, own your ground. You are in control. Allow passion and fire to shine through every action and emotion you express. Charismatic, fire alights the soul and all intentions. Lay down the rules to express personal power. Erect barriers. Speak from the heart and the head. That's typically you, Libra. Feel energy. Course through the body. Rule with grace. But using a gentle yet powerful touch. Energy of passion allows wrongs to be rightened. It burns away that which is no longer needed. No one can distract or dissolve personal power. No permission is required. You are a beacon of power. Now is the time to take action and results will follow. There you go. A new beginning. You're in a transformational period, but you will find your new beginning. You're leaving an an old face behind, something that is of no need to you anymore. Boom, there you go. For the midweek, we have desired transformation. Yes, you are transforming because you've got the death card. Okay, you've taken your power back and you've got climbing, getting other perspectives. You might be getting a rise, you might be promoted. 
you have got what you want, but also try to um, keep on going forwards and upwards. And when you're up in the tree like the cat, this is depicted with half human, half tree and animal. Nature all the way. We should take care of our environment much more. Ooh, but get another perspective on things. You might have a second chance on something. Definitely a new beginning. Gabriel is Archangel Gabriel is growing new life into the rising dead. That's a new beginning, but perhaps also because they've lived before, is it I interpret it as a second beginning. The uh, attitude is um, um, desiring intimacy. Perhaps you would like to be one of a group or have intimacy, close feelings, uh, intimate moments with a special person. And you've got the card seven, a lucky number. And that is empowering. You want to be empowered. Ah, give yourself. Give, uh, give Give of yourself, release the ego. An ego can sabotage your plans. Egos are wrong. The bad news. Nobody's better than anybody else. Connect with other people psych psychologically, spiritually. Let that third eye open. Focus on yourself and what you would like. Shine like a beacon. You'll be attracting others to you like nobody, like, you know, like nobody's business. Mm. Grow strong by lifting others up. Never look down. Only when somebody is fallen. And you might be receiving news or meeting a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries or Leo. Or you might be moving. You'll get news, definitely. But it's also the card of moving home. That's the Knight of Wands. Then we have attitude on the weekend, desiring belonging. You want to belong. It's a lot like desiring intimacy. You've got feeling. Perhaps you might be opening your feelings to somebody. Okay. That is how you get intimacy. By also opening up. Open your heart and your solar plex. Go outside and enjoy nature. Beautiful card. Embrace vulnerability. Now, uh, where did I say? Yeah, this is power. You know, sometimes it's also trying to get a different perspective and open up your third eye, focus on somebody else and what they might be thinking. Beautiful. Empower the moment. Open yourself up by feeling associated with you. Uh, associated with your situation, embrace the entire emotional spectrum. Allow and open flow and know you are protected. Emotions can hurt you, even the scariest and saddest. But then that is the dark side defines the light. Darkness encourages light, shine bright, brighter. Embrace dark and light with equal openness. Resistance breeds confusion. Repression is blockage. Journal your feelings to get clarity, to contemplate about it. Be an inspiration to others. Okay. Just be like a feline. They prefer relaxed states of being happy. And they are also happy to model this to us. They will take the lead. The cat is always independent, but 
they will show us gentleness, swiftness, speediness, but they can also be spaced out, especially in the sunshine. And there's something new coming. So get back into balance. Balance, balance. Don't manipulate. Be your own. Stand in your own power. Let others know your rules, your, your um, boundaries. You will stay standing in your strength and you, you are welcoming. You can come welcome this new beginning. You've got the Empress. She stands for fertility, birth of a child or birth of a new project. She's also Libra. She represents Libra, believe it or not. She also has, she represents growth, blossoming and harvesting. So if you've invested in something, it will grow, blossom and harvest. But be nurturing about it, gentle, relax, it takes time. And you might be fertile. If you want to have a child, then go ahead. And if you don't want a child, take precautions. Remember, every phase of life is a theatre or a cabaret. Here you looks like they are getting proposed. She's getting proposed to. Well, perhaps that is the news. You might get a proposal. Could be of marriage, or could be of work. The passion will change to love. Then you go on to another act in the play. Marriage, children, etc, etc. Changes all the time. Don't isolate yourself. Otherwise you won't be seen, Libra. So come out to play. Awesome reading. Alright. Now we've got a chance here. And it's just like a lot of the charms look like the, the Lenaman. Okay. And I've got all the colours of the chakra, the Reiki, but not the angelic. Not all the colours from the angelic, so I couldn't find them. But the white colour is the represents the light. Stand in the white light and they will it will protect you. Stand in a bubble of white light. Okay. I will choose one, uh, a couple of the charms and one of the um, beads. Oh, they keep on the same, keep on coming out. Okay. Okay, you feel safe by being empowered and sharing your knowledge, your energy with somebody special. You've got the anchor. The anchor means yes to a question. Coming home to a safe haven. You're going to stay where you are at this moment in time. Your heart. Your heart is, um, I get to hear uh, the heart you want. Your heart is in your, your, your passion is in your heart or your heart is in your passion in what you do. You are ambitious. You're trying to see everybody's point of view. That is your heart being true to yourself. And then we've got the cross. Have faith. Have trust in the angels. You have the cross. So have faith in yourself. Trust yourself as others do. You might spiritually be growing, going upwards. And because it's lying close to this card, climbing, you could be ambitious. Have faith, you'll get there. Others will help you. Ask for help from others. Follow your heart. You are going to the right place. Wow, it's step by step. Look at it. Now, I didn't get a bead. So have a look for the bead. And you've got the white. So you let the universe and the angels help you stand in the white light. Be pure of heart. Open your crown chakra so the white light can come through you and clear your chakras and heal you. The white light comes into your crown chakra like you do when you 
learn Reiki, the white light will protect you and heal you, clear your chakras, and will also most probably give you new ideas. That is the divine connecting with you. Awesome. And that is Archangel Metatron. So ask him to heal you, to support you. If you are selling your house, ask him to help you. He's also the angel for selling houses and moving. And that is this card. Awesome. You would like a new start. So that could be the move. Or climbing upwards, a promotion. Or ask for more clients. He will help you with his esoterical geometrical signs and his angelic power and love. You'll get to the right stage at the right time. You can always change the play because you are the head of your own life. You're the head character in your own play and you can write your own play or film. Take care and I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Please like and share. And remember, together we stand strong. So give us the thumbs up. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the life or in the next video. Enjoy your week. Take care and be blessed.